good day folks welcome to the mb Wildman channel on today's video we're going to talk about how to trap squirrels for fur and for food um, now i know some of you may not eat squirrel uh, a lot of people do they most people um most people go after the gray squirrels when they trap for food there's no better way to get a young fella into trapping and learning how to skin than to start out with squirrels this is my first time ever holding a squirrel he's super soft eh yeah yeah yay So when I was when I was young, that's what grandfather started me on. You know, he'd be skinning and I'd, I'd have the little squirrels. And, you know, if you can skin a squirrel, really, then you can skin basically anything uh, with the exception of a beaver, I guess, maybe an otter. But they're all pretty much skin the same. So when I was young, it was always, you know, how do you skin a raccoon? Well, it's just a big squirrel. How do you skin a fox? Well, it's just a big squirrel. So we start out the younger generation, hopefully, and uh, we'll get Elliot skinning some squirrels here pretty quick. And I'll show you two or three different types of setups that I do. Uh, here on the MB Wildman channel. Listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the MB Wildman channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell so that you get notified when we upload new content. Wouldn't want you to miss any videos. Might be something you can, you know, come in handy for you. You never know. Um, we appreciate the support. And as always, any questions or comments that you have, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. So anyway, I'm going to walk you through just around here. I got three or four squirrel traps set. They're all set a little bit differently. Um, Elliot's out here with me today. And um, here we go. So here's our real basic setup that we got, and, and all of the traps, that, you know, all the sets I use are based kind of off this design. This is just a regular Victor rat trap. Okay, you pick these up at the hardware store, wherever you want. I like to get the ones with the, uh, the bigger yellow pans. Like you can see, they just give a little more space, a little more trigger space. The little metal ones work as well, um, but I like the ones with the bigger trigger space. And all I've done is I've, I've drilled a hole through this trap right in here and screwed it using a, about a two and a half or three inch deck screw to the base of the tree. Uh, a little bit of peanut butter or whatever your favorite bait is. I like peanut butter, it works pretty easily. Um, sticks well and still smells if it's frozen, that's, that's important. Uh, and then obviously when the animal comes along and touches the peanut butter, the rat trap snaps and basically works like a conibear bear for small game. Uh, You'll see a lot of guys will use these right on the ground. I don't like that a lot. There's too much chance for, for you know, sticks or for whatever to hit them and snap them. Uh, I like them on the tree and I like them so that they're, they're close enough to the ground that the squirrel coming across the ground can reach up and, attack and, and hit the bait or try to eat the bait before it actually has to get up on the tree. Okay, so you'll get squirrels that'll come down the tree and then when they typically get down this far, they'll, they'll see this obstacle or they'll notice this and they'll, a lot of times they'll go around it or they'll hop down and they'll come in from this way. If they're coming down from a different tree or from another tree in the area, they'll typically run down onto the ground and then run along and up at the bait this way. Okay, so I like to keep these, you know, this distance here is maybe six, six, seven inches off whatever the, the base is, right? There is a bit of a downside. Uh, if you do get a lot of snow, you may have to move these up, you know, the tree, depending on, on where you're at. So uh, this is the first one uh, that I use. And like I say, it's, it's, it's just at about this height. Resets are pretty easy. Obviously, uh, most of you have probably set a rat trap before. Uh, if you haven't, just hang tight. I'll set this camera down. There we go. Uh, if you haven't yet set a, rat, set a rat trap in your life, then they're pretty straightforward. Especially these ones with the big pans. You just flip these up, drop the trigger down, in behind the pan, bring it up, and you're all set and done. So the, the, the resets are that quick and that easy, right? So then you just take the squirrel out, reset the trap. They don't always get the peanut butter, but uh, sometimes they do, and you might have to add some more. But I don't see it yet. On your left. All right, this one, still set here. So this one is a good... Uh, this one's a good five feet up the tree. I set it, I set it quite a little bit higher. Now, the reason that I would do this typically, uh, if you're in an area where you might get some damage from, you know, if, if there's a lot of foxes around or raccoons or coyotes or whatever, that uh, depending on how long you're gonna be between the checks of your traps, uh, you might wanna bring your traps up the tree a ways, right? So last but not least, we've got the exact same type of set. We've got the rat trap just a little bit off the snow here. But we've selected, I selected a tree that was broken off. So this is only about two and a half, three feet tall. 
And uh, one of the benefits here is that you're not gonna get a squirrel that comes down at this trap. So you're not gonna get a miss because they trampled over the, trampled over the spring first. Pretty much always a squirrel here because there's no, you know, there's no upper tree. Squirrel's always gonna be running across on the bottom. So if you're in an area where you've got some squirrel activity and you've got a couple of blowdowns or broken off trees like this or tall stumps that woodcutters have left or whatever, these are ideal sets for these, for these traps, just, just about this high off the ground, okay? So anyway, I hope this helps you out on your line. This is Elliot and I, and we're just, like here. I say, we're gonna get uh, Elliot into doing some skinning and some trapping on his own. So uh, squirrels is a great way to start. Um, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.